करते थे Really? Oh, then again, there was a case. There was a prologue, so it makes sense. Oh, I just thought it was stolen. Jesus. Yeah. Good gracious, Yarahan! It's missing. Yep, I'm afraid so. It, were, it was reported to us this morning. So that's what it's all about. One of the hands from the clock tower has been stolen. Unbelievable, isn't it? If you got to get the Ulgan who did it and get, get the end back quick smart. Jesus Christ, your, your accent, man. But there are four clock faces on the Elizabeth Tower, aren't there? Even if, if this one our hand is missing, the other three faces was too short the correct time, surely. That's right, I mean, certainly maybe a little inconvenient perhaps, but to describe this as uh, affecting all of Britain, isn't that rather an exaggeration? I kind of have to agree with them. <laughs> yeah, my bad I have said the same thing. But it's much worse than a bit of inconvenience on only the right time. The problem is, we will do a visit tomorrow from Ambassador Fox Duff. Fafa? Is that how I'm speaking? Okay, I can somewhat see how this is a problem now. Ah yes, I remember reading about this on the Times. In the Times. It's an anniversary of the Treaty of Rome, isn't it? But what, what does that have to do with the Elizabeth Tower? The ambassador is going to be received at the venue inside of the House of Parliament in Big Ben. And as a symbol of the time was friendship, the incorporation between the two lands. A pen and giving you a present. A pen and mono on the ends of the big... Oh my god. Why would you do that? Oh dear. Yeah, so you can only imagine that the conversation is going to turn to the subject of the clock tower at some point. And it's not going to look clever if the very ends of the pen and this model have been affinched. I still don't know what that is. By some more of scandal, the man... The Matt Kent sketch. The hell's a Matt? Is it police? Probably. Obviously, it'll be plastered all over the foreign presses. It's a blooming disgrace, is what it is. I see. So that's why you're intent on tracking down the culprit and recovering the missing hand before tomorrow's engagement. Exactly. We really need your help on this one, Cat. Of course, I'll do everything I can. Our national party has stake here, as you say. Well, that's a relief. I was worried you'd turn me down. Obviously, Scotland Yard will be carrying on with his own investigation at the same time. It's all ends on deck. I've got officers scouring the area around the tower, so you can ask them if they've got any leads. Leave it to me, Inspector. We'll get started at once. Gosh, miss. It's so rousing when you take the bull by the horns like this. Oh, no. No, wait a minute. What now? Well, as this is our first case since the establishment of the latent detective agency, I'd better show you the ropes. That makes sense how to carry out my. Oh god, it's a tutorial. Oh yes, please do, Miss Layton. Ugh. An investigation mode, the course. Oh, in investigation mode, sorry. The course on the screen changes to be a magnifying glass. Use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around and examine every inch of the scene. Sometimes when you move to the magnifying glass over a particular point, it will turn on. When you identify a point of interest like that, press A to find out what's there. You can also use the directional buttons to quickly snap the magnifying glass between people and other areas of interest. Okay. You need to master both controls. So the left stick, is left stick to move with a, magna, with a magnifying glass around, or the actual buttons to choose an area to, of interest rapidly. All right, I think I got the hang of it. Got the hang of licking her boots? Yep. Ahem, I'm sorry. I mean, you're a faster pinstripes. Let's get so let's get straight down to business and start an escape. Let's start with the top of the lamppost, shall we? Use the left stick. 
Nice. Golly, a little coin drop down. Down, look. Yes, that's a hint coin. They can buy you hints when you're solving puzzles. Of course, like real money, once you spend them, they're gone. So I only use them when you really need to. You'll find them hidden in all sorts of places, so leave no stone unturned. I see. So hints coins are shy little creatures, aren't they? Come on, cat. What are you dawdling there for, eh? The case, woman. The case. Now, now, inspector. Less haste, more speed. Investigations need to be carried out carefully. Sorry. And above all, you must record everything in the at each step. Oh god, this is gonna, this is gonna be the part that's gonna get annoying, isn't it? Hmm. Teaching grandma to shuck to suck eggs, aren't you? What? I have no idea what that means. Let's just go over the most important items in my bag. Select the bag item in the bottom left corner on the screen and to open the bag menu or you can just press X. Cat's journal contains all my notes about the investigation so far. Very useful for recapping. Oh god. My cat just, uh, just sat down. To archive the case history, choose save from the menu. That will make a record of, of the story so far. This is a puzzle index. Any puzzles we encounter are recorded in here, so you can tackle once you've already completed again if you, the mood takes you. And there's a brand new puzzle in daily puzzles every single day. If you also delve into my wardrobe from time to time, I can pop into some different outfits. Blime, you gotta remember that bag of yours, cat? Ever heard of tidy? This crazy idea where you actually get rid of stuff you don't need? Oh no, it's per perfectly fine as it is. The trick with any handbag is to know where to find everything you want to and what to use when. Oh god. Good, that's covered the fundamentals of the investigation process. Now it's time to put theory into practice and investigate the clock tower. The clocks uh, are awfully high off the ground though, aren't they? Then you must zoom in. Oh my god, there's still more tutorial why? Zoom in, miss? How do you do that? Sometimes you may notice a magnifying glass color changing to blue instead of orange while you're investigating. That in indicates a place where you can zoom in and take a closer look. All you have to do is press A and everything will appear larger. Very natty. Well, it's extremely important to be thorough when you're investigating, you see. So why don't you zoom in now and take a closer look at the clock face. It's true, the shorthand really is missing. I'm pretty sure where the style was that a long time ago, but okay, whatever. Ah, but of course the other clock faces all have both hands. Yeah, it's only on the one side. Ugh. Sorry, I'm sleepy. Yeah, it's only on the one side of the short end's been taken. The other three are unaffected. Ah, so it's just one short hand that you're looking for. Even a short hand from one of the clocks on the Big Bang clock tower would be very sizable would be a very sizable object. Not something that would disappear easily. Obviously we search all around the clock face as well as the base of the tower. But the hands just disappear from into thin air. Haha, <laughs> this is turning into a very interesting case indeed. A quarter of one doesn't know what time it is and you call it interesting. Alright. Now that we know what we're dealing with, it's time to start investigating. We should start by stepping back and looking at the bigger picture again. So select zoom out or just press B. B. Where do we start, Miss Layton? Well, time's of the essence, we have to solve this before Ambassador, I'm not gonna say his name, arrives tomorrow. Let's begin by asking Spaxter Hastings team what they've learned so far. That's right. Why do they work yourself and you get, can get someone else to do it for you? Nonsense, Cheryl. You can't afford to duplicate effort. You can't afford to duplicate effort, that's all. Of course. Come on, come on then. You too. Time, no time to lose. Coming, miss. There, I can move again. Uh, oh, the tree. What about the tree? 
Ah, it's rather pleasant. Rather pleasant here with all the greenery, don't you think? I know, I know. I want to talk. They want to talk to him. I just, I'm just want, making sure. What the? I knew every day the bell of, of Big Ben's home. Inspector Hastings, can you summarize what you found out so far? Not a fat lot, really. There was a Bob on the beat here last night who confirmed nothing was amiss at 11.50. It wasn't until 6 this morning that we got a report from a stunned local who happened to glance at the clock. We came to confirm the report straight away and found it to be true. The hour end was, was well and truly gone. Hmm. So at 11.50 last night, the clock was fine, but by 6 this morning, the hand was missing. So we're looking at a window of about 6 hours in which the crime was committed. That's about the size of it, yep. And that wasn't... And wasn't there anybody else who looked at the clock tower in the 6 hours window? We're looking to that now. I've got officers asking locals if they saw anything. There must be someone who looked at the clock at the time. Uh, wait, wouldn't the person be normally sleeping this time? No doubt if they went door to door we could find some witness. But it doesn't have the time, the kind of time. So we just have to manage with what we know already. Pretty much, and those ends are massive. It wouldn't take someone as fair, fair old while to make off with them, that's for sure. Six hours. What the? Okay, this one. We found a cool six hour window. Okay. As the investigation progresses, you unearth certain key pieces of information that form clues. For e each case has six clues to uncover, and once you've found all six, you'll be able to solve the case. Clues may arise from statements that appear to have nothing to do with anything, to, any to do with anything. Can you use your sleuthing skills to piece it all together. If you want to look at the clues you've gathered so far, open Catriel's bag and look at the current case files. When you need to refresh your memory at about a case, the case file is the place to look. Yeah, so you have pretty much empty. Now to took us back. Ah, it's so exciting to be investigating cases at last. What do you do first, miss? Well, we'll start by interviewing members of the public, Ernest. Gosh, that sounds like a proper detective work. Let's find out if anyone around here has noticed what's wrong with the clock tower and if they might have useful information for us. There is a rather lot of passers by here. How do you know who to ask? The more people you talk to, the better, so let's get started. When there's more than one place to investigate next, you'll see multiple magnifying glass icons displayed at the top right of the screen to investigation. Once you examine one of those places, it will be marked with a tick icon. So keep an eye out on the magnifying glass icons and tick icons at the top part of the screen as uh, the second as you're hunting for clues okay so I can kind of tell who I need to talk to oh wait please. oh nice but yeah I can kind of tell who I can talk to because they are closer in their 3d malls instead of 2d ah 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 xy uh, why? Every single time, Nix, why? Uh, she used her claws on my leg. Uh, why? Top of the morning to you. Got a minute to answer a few questions? Oh, um, alright. I'm investigating the external disappearance of the little and of the big band, see? So, did either of you happen to see anything? Anything? Oh god. On his parts last night, such as, for instance, a person or persons transporting a large and like object. Well, she gets straight to the point, doesn't he? He's asking the very question I was about to ask him. 
Ah, where's my manners, eh? Sorry, I'm Douglas Dirt. Everyone calls me Doug. I'm a reporter from the with the London Times. See, are you weird at all? Oh, I'll say. Personally, I think the London Times is the best paper in the city. Ahaha, ha. you're too kind, lad. Although I do make it my mission to dig up the most dirtiest of dirt and uncover the most unsavory of sooths. Jesus. And at present, as I mentioned, ah. Uh, Affirmationly, Jesus. I am investigating the disappearance of Big Ben's hand. As it happens, we're investigating the same thing. Perhaps you might share anything you've learned. Sorry, investigating, you say? Oh, there's a turn, turn for the books. You don't look like a detective, I must say. If I had a guest, I've begged you as a young couple out walking your lovely dog in this delightful morning. Well, I am a detective. Haven't you heard of the Latham Detective Agency? Leighton, I know the famous Professor Leighton, of course, but I didn't realize that he had an agency or people in his employee. I always have to have signed up for the couple and all. Real inspires confidence. Oh, what a blow, mind you, I don't really expect any difference. Don't worry, Miss Leighton, you'll be famous soon, famous soon enough, I'm quite certain of that. Anyway, as it appears, I was in the office all evening yesterday painting my last article. I do not observe Big Ben at all, and I'm afraid to say that my own investigation is getting underway. I have nothing to impart at the present time. I see. Well, thank you anyway. I wish you all the very best with your ongoing investigation activities, of course. Likewise, sir. Good luck with yours. Hand hiccup for iconic Big Bang, pretty crime or international conspiracy. Alarm bells ring across Britain. Ah, <laughs> story like these write themselves, eh? Gah, yeah, methinks it's gonna be a smasher. It certainly is. If we don't solve this before the story breaks, there'll be all kinds of repercussions. You're right. We, have, we must press on with our investigation. Let's see what this guy here says. Hey, hey, well, how long has it been, would you say? How long? I'm sorry, do we know each other? I'm fairly sure I've never met you before, sir. Know each other? In a way, yes. In a way, no. Maybe he's a recurring character in the series? I wouldn't be able to tell you guys. I think his scarf's too tight. People are like leaves washed along the river, sometimes meeting, sometimes parting. You've rather lost me, I'm afraid I am. Don't suppose you've noticed anything about the Elizabeth Tower last night, did you? I was already dreaming sweetly by nightfall yesterday. You're an early sleeper, are you? So you won't have seen anything. Hehe, <laughs> is that all you wanted? I tell you what, how about a little puzzle to occupy the mind? I say, a puzzle? The world is full of puzzles, Ernest. Sometimes during the course of investigation, people do come out with puzzles for you to solve. It's all part of the process. So let's see what sort of puzzles we're dealing with here. Puzzle 2, The Hands of Time. Oh no! The clock is currently showing the time as 3.30 p.m. It would be nice if the hands of the clock would show midnight. What would be the minimum number of places? No, wait. Places you need to touch on the clock to show the desired time. Select the answer frame to display the input screen uh, for entering the letters and numbers. After confirming, you'll see you have written appear in the answer frame. To change the answer, simply select the frame again. Wait, what? The, what minimal number of places you need to turn the clock? I want to say it's wrong, but I'm probably wrong. This is an interesting one. What's the yeah. matter with me today? Yeah, no, yeah, as you can see, I'm very bad at this. Mm, bad luck, you can get a clock to show midnight. Can you think of a way? That's your hints. Oh, no, 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 let's try again. Oh boy.
Because... Hmm. Because there is... I thought it would be one because you need to... Wait... Is it two? No. Is it? Oh my god, why am I so dumb? I'll try to, if it's not, I'm gonna use a hint coin, because I can definitely need it. This is an interesting Nope. I'm bad at this. Today? I'm very bad at this, Jesus. Let's give a hint, uh, I need that. I need all the help I can get. There is no need to touch the hands of the clock. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. What will be the minimum number of places you need to touch on the clock to show the desired time? It's not zero, is it? Because you... Do it, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm a moron! Jesus! You did it! There is no need to turn the clock at all. All you need to do is wait for midnight to come. I thought I wanted to shoot him for me to get shoot. Oh god, no. Wait, does it mean the speaker has are now forever lost? Very impressive. Let's hope you take all the poses you're going to face so convincingly. 